Welcome to the Take Apart Guide for the 13-inch MacBook Pro late 2016 model with the function keys. First remove the six pentalobe screws from the bottom pan. And then by using a flat tool or a suction cup, lift up on the sides of the bottom pan to unsnap the clips. And then slide the bottom pan forward away from the hinges to take it off. Next, to unplug the battery, you will need to lift up on the black plastic tape. And then unplug the small flex cable located here. And then remove the large T5 screw from the battery connector. And then lift up on the battery connector cable to unplug it. Next, remove the T5 screws holding down the trackpad cable. And then lift up on the cable to unplug it. To remove the trackpad, remove the T5 screws located here. the screws are removed, the trackpad will be loose from the top case. Next, unplug all of the visible cables from the logic board. Remove the T5 screws from the cable shield located here and then unplug the cable. Next, unplug the Wi Fi antenna cables. Now remove the T5 screws from each side of the SSD card. And then remove the black tape located here. You can then gently lift up on the SSD card and slide it forward to remove it. Now remove the T5 screws from the logic board. And then remove the T3 screws and take out the clutch covers. and then remove the T5 screw located here. And then remove the T3 screws from the display cable located here.
Once the screws have been removed, unplug the cable from the display. You can then gently take out the logic board. To take out the fan, remove the T3 screws that you can see. And then remove the T5 screws from the speaker assemblies. Now that the speaker assembly is out, you can remove the last screw from the fan and then unplug the cable and take it out. Next, remove the T3 screw from the headphone board assembly. and then using a flat tool, gently lift up on the microphone board cable. Once the microphone has been separated, then use your flat tool to lift up on the headphone board assembly to separate it. Now remove the T3 screws from the display controller board. Now using your T1 or T2 screwdriver, remove all the screws from the antenna board assembly. and then remove the T5 screws from the display controller board assembly. Now the antenna assembly can be removed. To remove the display, you will need to have the machine in the open position. and then remove the three T10 screws from each hinge.
Once the screws have been removed, you can then separate the top case from the display assembly.